Hello everybody, I need a 12 volt generator for charging the boat batteries. This little engine I've had in my garage now for 15, 20 years. It used to start every time. But um, first of all I need, I'm going to mount it on a bit of wood. A bit of old wood that we've about in my garage. Just cut the points there, I'm going to mount it on. Three mounting points. So I can uh, get it mounted on this bit of wood and get it started, check it, it's going to go okay. Okay, there's the first mountain, bolt down through the wood. There's the second mountain, and then there's a third one on the back. And um, believe it or not, that is solid on there. That took me all of half hour to pin that to that bit of wood. Alright, now the starter after 15 or 20 years sat in my garage doing nothing. So I say she did start first time every time. But here we go, I, I primed her, and there's a little pump on the side. I put fuel in, you pump it with a little pump and um, she's bolted down now I didn't expect her to go first or second pull but um, well here we go just prime her down one pull check the choke pull the choke out yeah do forgot there's a little switch on the side put the switch on The throttle again. I pulled her four times. The fourth time I put the switch on, she started immediately. See a little red switch there next to me, fun. And she's running. She's running nice. And I say three pulls for her, um, for nothing without any uh, electric going to her. She sounds okay, so I decided to go ahead and do the build. Lovely little engine. The next beauty I pulls out of the uh, garage. Been in there for 20, 25 years, possibly longer. A little old there. That's off of one of my combis. Um, it's a, a, I think they call it a one wire, but you got three. Two go to the live. Well, all three basically go to live. And, um, but you only need to use two of them, the small one and one of the big ones. And then an earth off of the body. And as I say, the dynamo won't, uh, there's there's it all. I, I didn't film all the bits I'm doing. There's the adjustment that actually pulls the uh, dynamo type with the belt on. But the dynamo's just rocked on two brackets. You can see them there. And there's the clutch. That's me ruling it aside there. But they are, it all seems lined up okay. It's, um, I don't mess about it. I, I'm into now into about an hour and a half building this so far. Me, I'm slap bang, wallet crash, but everything gets done proper, but don't get fancy finishing edges. Here you can see it's all lined up. That's turning by hand. And she looks like she's going to run no trouble at all. Here's the three pins, as I say. I'm, I'm short of a pin at the moment, so I'm waiting for a mate to get me a, a connector that goes in there. If not, I'll have to make me own, but for now, and this is the first video of how I built the unit. That, as I say, is the, the three pins. Basically, they all go to live, and um, one has a bulb on to show you it's your ignition. And then, basically, you have a, a wire going to her off the framework of the Jenny there. But they are it's all mounted, and sorry, the camera's crap in in the garage. It's not very light, but. You can, you'll see it again in the daylight. I'll give her a quick run up, as I say, just to check that the, the, the belt is staying in line and running up true. And, uh, of course, when I've done this test, I, I remembered I need to make a cover housing to go over the cylinder head to conduct the, the, the air around off the fan to keep the engine cool. But, uh, that can wait till tomorrow morning and I'll be able to take some better pictures of the unit as it is now in the daylight. But as I say, I'm now into about three hours, three and a half hours. Next day, as I say, I've come out to the garage and I've cut some bits of steel and I've made that cover. 
that's um, where the air vent goes the um, intake goes back on there eventually but now the, the, the head the, the thing's welded it will undo it's on with two screws there on the side and one on the back cover just needs grinding down and painting it's uh, I will admit I, I welded that I didn't have any gas on me still too welded so the welding's crap but uh, by the time it's ground back down it'll look okay yeah no gas as you see on the back Anyway, there's the unit now. You notice I've cut the side down. The battery doesn't need to be mounted on it because it's going to be charging a battery and none of the batteries aren't going to be charging. They're going to be flat, so they'll all have enough to excite the wire. Um, anyway, after a quick coat of paint now, I get the coat. It's all crap. It's just all... I haven't sanded it or ground it or cleaned it. It's just this paint, the silver paint there, paint over anything. Notice the base has been cut down because I don't need a battery on it. As I say, it will be having the battery, whatever is charging, will have the power to put the power in the exciter wire. Anyway, there it is. All up and done and running. And next thing, I'll do the wiring, but uh, I'll make another video of that, show you it running and see what voltage it's putting out. But uh, in total, now I'm into about five and a half hours. Thanks for watching, Pete out for now.